Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll be looking at, at the updated out of box experience for the uh, Windows 10 Kratos update as Microsoft is making the experience easier with uh, Cortana and simpler uh, privacy settings uh, to help anyone go through the uh, configuration of Windows 10. Now I'm just going to go through the uh, uh, typical install process to show you the uh, new out of box experience. So I'm just going to click next, install now going to click the I don't have a product key option click next I'm going to check the option and to accept the license and I'm going to click next I'm going to choose the uh, custom install and next hi there I'm Cortana and I'm here to help a little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. All right, you're connected. Now. We'll check for any updates. So this is the updated out-of-box experience. As you can see, now we have the help from uh, Cortana. And she's going to be um, uh, popping up on every step until you finish configuring Windows 10. As you can see, we have a few new controls uh, for volume. And right here, if we click the, um, uh, the mic right at the bottom, uh, it's going to disable Cortana. So if you if you know how to go through the steps and you don't want to uh, get assistant, you can just click here and turn that off. But I'm going to leave that on. Voice mode, Voice mode on. on. And you also have an, uh, a button to open the um, uh, to get more assistance with the uh, issue of access. I'm just going to click that I own it to set up this uh, computer, and I'm going to click next. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. So here's the uh, new updated uh, sign-in uh, screen. So you can create your account uh, for Windows 10 using a Microsoft account. If you don't have one, if you don't have a, a Microsoft account, you can click the uh, create account. Let's get an account going for you. Do you want to use your own email address or create a new one? So, and here Cortana can walk you through all those steps so you can uh, get a, mic a Microsoft account set up. But for now, I'm just going to go back. And I guess I had to like click the, uh, I own it again. I'm going to click next. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. And if you want to create a local account, Microsoft is making a little more confusing. So you uh, so you use a Microsoft account, but now you can click the uh, offline account. You're about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know Windows works way better with a Microsoft account. Do you want to do that instead? No. Type what you want to name your account. So in here you can go through the um, the step process to create an actual uh, local account. But I'm just going to uh, set up this computer with a Microsoft account. So I'm going to go back. You're about to set up an offline account. And I'm going to click yes. Sure you know. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. So now I'm just going to enter my, my email address. And I'm going to click next. Here, I'm just going to type my password. And I'm going to click next. Want to set up a PIN? It gives you stronger security than a password. I'm going to click the uh, set up a PIN. Click 
Clic OK. Hey, look, it's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. So as you can see now, we don't have any more a, uh, an express setup or costume. So it's only one setup. This is actually the uh, new Simplify uh, privacy settings that you can uh, configure on, on Windows 10 when you're actually uh, installing the operating system for the first time. And as you can see, they have been completely reduced and now we only have uh, five of them. You have each one with a description of uh, what uh, what Microsoft is actually uh, what data is collecting from you, and if you turn them off, you're going to get a description on what's going to happen if you turn this off. So you can see the benefit to leave this on, and you can you're going to have um, a description for each setting. You can pause the video and read them all if you want to. And I'm just going to uh, turn them all on. And basically, we have only uh, five settings, which uh, which include the uh, location, speak recognition, diagnostics, uh, tailored experiences with diagnostic uh, data, and you can also decide whether uh, or not to use the uh, relevant ads. If you want, if you want to learn more. You can always click the uh, learn more button and that will take uh, takes us to um, uh, to a summary of the uh, settings which is quite extensive and microsoft makes it um, uh, a little bit uh, complicated to to read as you can see a really small box right here and i'm going to click uh, continue and that brings me back to the uh, to the settings page and the only thing the only thing you can do here is to uh, click accept to continue okay that's the last step we need to get a few more things polished up for you and windows will be all yours looking forward to helping out and that's basically it um after you completed that last step windows 10 is going to go through the um uh, final setup applying all the settings and getting everything ready and that's how the uh, updated out of box experience uh, look like on the uh, windows 10 Kratos update remember to like the video leave your comment on what you think about the uh, the new uh, experience and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.